New this hour, police in Kentucky are expected to give an update in about an hour on the search for a man accused of randomly shooting at least a dozen cars along a busy highway. Police say they consider the suspected gunman, 32-year-old Joseph Couch, armed and dangerous. At least five people were hit by gunfire. All are expected to survive. One woman at the scene described what happened to her vehicle. And there's a huge dent in my rim. Um, and right above that on the back corner panel, a bunch of uh, paint is chipped off. And um, we kind of pieced it together that, oh, my God, we were probably in the crossfire. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavides is in Corbin, Kentucky. Christian, walk us through what happened this weekend and the latest on the search for the suspect. Lindsay, what happened this weekend is that officials say that 32-year-old Joseph Couch, the suspected gunman in all of this, apparently uh, above I-75 uh, from a ledge somewhere, started shooting at random at, in this busy highway, striking 12 vehicles, according to officials, and five people. All of them are expected to survive, although uh, one individual was hit in the face. Uh, now there's an ongoing manhunt where on day three, officials have been looking for him in a wooded area near I-75, near exit 49. According to officials, this is a wooded area that is uh, rough terrain. Uh, they describe it as an area where you've got a number of uh, caves. You've even got tunnels that are in there. Uh, an official that I spoke to earlier today told me that they have about a two to three mile grid area that they're currently searching for him. This is an area where you can't drive a vehicle through. According to officials, uh, this is a, a grid search that they're doing on foot, which is why it is taking so long. But so far, they believe that this individual uh, couch is still within that area. They believe that he potentially may have planned for this. And the reason for this is that he bought the AR-15 rifle that he allegedly used in the shooting Saturday, that, that same day that the shooting occurred, just hours before it took place. And uh, they believe that he's out there. He uh, has military experience. He spent four years with the National Guard. So currently the, the search is on. They're continuing to look for him. How is the community reacting? Look, there is a lot that the community is on edge. I've spoken to multiple residents around the area of London. Right now, we're about 30 minutes south in uh, Corbin, Kentucky. But London is where schools have shut down. This is closer to the search area. Um, you've got schools that have shut down, businesses that are considering shutting down, and essentially a community that is on a sort of lockdown. They are fearful in a way of going outside. They don't want to be defined by fear from the folks that I've spoken to. I spoke to a, a woman, a business owner earlier today. She owns a coffee shop in the area, and uh, she told me that she feels she, she is concerned about what's happening, but she doesn't want to be defined. She doesn't want her community to be defined by what's going on. All right, Christian Benavides, we know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you.